back again. Um, next day now, this one, this actually heart broke me to death. So, um, what I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the last one. Reapply my template and retool this thing and not take the lazy man's way out and try to speed up the staining process. So, I'm not gonna bore you with this since you already know how I did it. We'll be back when the tooling's done and I can get it looking as close to how this one was before it got all oofed up there. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm taking a quick little intermission and showing you a little bit of the progress. So as you can see, we're starting to get everything set back down into this pattern and getting ready to get um, everything kind of detailed up. I'm glad I, you know, I'm almost glad I messed up on this one because this time around it's going to be a little bit better, I think. Uh, got a better idea how to make this look real good so let me finish this up and we'll be back all right so we're back after a little bit and uh i got this one tooled up let me see if i can get this one into frame a little better um, there we go so the little owl turned out pretty good on the second round um got a little more done with it so um, I'm going to let this dry naturally here for a little bit and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to take my uh, light tan with that reddish hint. I'm going to stain everything. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing the background. Um, once that lighter stain dries up, I'm going to go back over all this with block out and um, that way it prevents from picking up that much of the dark stain and then I'm going to go over everything else with that dark brown um that was closer to this shade but as you can see um i don't know if you can tell but everybody's always gonna probably say why did he redo it but you can see the difference in quality how this one got burnt and ruined and then this one is still more raised and decorative so I think it looks a little nicer than the first two, so going at it a second time wasn't bad. But let's let this dry and I'll be back. All right, and there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is once this thing's all dried up, um, I'm gonna take the sheath, and this is still gonna lighten up closer to the sheath, and that is gonna be my decorative um patch that i'm gonna glue on there so um let's let this thing get all dried up and we'll add that and get our straps and everything finished so far so good feel a lot better about this one now we'll be back and we got the little patch set on and to put the patch on the back of this i'm using some trusty old gorilla glue this stuff right here is the bomb now you just got to be careful with it because it does foam up and if you use a lot of this man it can foam up and soak all the way through this leather pour so just a little coat i just kind of took a piece of leather over here and kind of scraped it across so it was a real thin layer enough to fill into those le that leather's pores so there's that and getting ready to do some straps all right um back now got the little owl patch um on here that represents a t um and i've also drilled some holes out um to get everything stitched in now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do like i said earlier i'm going to take a q-tip around this um dye these back down to the dark brown and uh kind of get enough in there to where i can toggle a needle in there to make sure all the dye is down inside of it and we're going to get this thing stitched up and then it looks like the last detail is the stop strap and then this project will be done so everybody stay tuned as you can see now we got our little spots all stained in um, down in there all the holes for the most part and I'm gonna grab a needle and thread and we're gonna get this thing zipped up so we'll be back here in a second all right YouTube I'm back 
and I finally completed all the stitching of this particular sheath and well for the most part I still got one more strap to put on up here but and this is how she looks so far and what I'm getting ready to do now um, before I put the strap on is I'm going to go ahead and take this time I'm going to use a product called Aussie Leather Conditioner which is a waterproofing borderline sealer type stuff um, and I'm going to take a paper towel um, and some good old fashioned elbow grease and I'm going to give this thing a polish and kind of let it sit and soak and then tomorrow I'm going to heat it up with a hair dryer and do it one more time so everything else with this video is going to be finished up in the morning so let me get this elbow ready to get to work and I'll see y'all tomorrow thanks for sticking with me and I'll be back alright so we're back for a quick part um, I'm getting ready to actually start working on this strap I've been talking about the whole video um, one thing that I wanted to say about these on these um. I think these are line 24 stamps. I uh, snaps. I always get the one with the long post on it. That way, I can use this for, you know, more variety of leathers um, as far as thicknesses to where I can put it through some thicker stuff. But when, since I'm only putting this through one layer of um, leather on this. What I'm going to want to do is I am going to come and take my moto tool and knock off just a little bit of this lip um, to shorten it up. That way I don't have to worry about um, the post like smearing or getting ugly and making a nasty spot on the back of this where it like shifts. I'm going to try to make that fit the leather just a little bit more. That way it's a good clean um, smush down part when I lay it up so I'll be back in a few and we have the strap gluing on everything's mounted down with the Gorilla Glue got one snap in I left the other side free that way once I get um, the knife in I can kind of adjust the other snap so pretty much this sheath is almost done we'll be back Right, everybody. Um, I'm finally back. I got the strap and everything um, stitched in, and the sheath is finally done. And I do want to tell you all thank you very much for sticking with me through this project and uh, pushing me along through it. But uh, this was really fun. So, Tank, here's your knife, brother. Um, let me kind of come in here and show you some things. But everything finally ended up looking like and there's the front side edging So, like I said, everybody, you know, this has been a really fun project. I hope it's inspired you to maybe try to make something yourself and not try to, you know. It's nice that, you know, these sheaths can be made so easily, you know, with just a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. So on that note, thanks again, everybody, for viewing. Uh, as always, love you. Do something fun today.